The United States Census of 1840 was the sixth census of the United States. Conducted by the Census Office on June 1, 1840, it determined the resident population of the United States to be 17,069,453—an increase of 32.7% over the 12,866,020 persons enumerated during the 1830 census. The total population included 2,487,355 slaves. In 1840, the center of population was about 260 miles kilometers west of Washington, near Weston, Virginia. <laughs> Controversy over statistics for mental illness among Northern blacks The 1840 census was the first that attempted to count Americans who were insane or idiotic. Published results of the census indicated that alarming numbers of black persons living in non slaveholding states were mentally ill, in striking contrast to the corresponding figures for slaveholding states. Pro slavery advocates trumpeted the results as evidence of the beneficial effects of slavery, and the probable consequences of emancipation. Anti-slavery advocates contended, on the contrary, that the published returns were riddled with errors, as detailed in an 1844 report by Edward Jarvis of Massachusetts in the American Journal of the Medical Sciences, later published separately as a pamphlet, and in a memorial from the American Statistical Association to Congress, praying that measures be taken to correct the errors. The memorial was submitted to the House of Representatives by John Quincy Adams, who contended that it demonstrated a multitude of gross and important errors in the published returns. In response to the House's request for an inquiry, Secretary of State John C. Calhoun reported that a careful examination of the statistics by the supervisor of the census had fully sustained their correctness. The returns were not revised. Census <inaudible> 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 questions <inaudible> 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 The 1840 census asked these questions Name of head of family Address Number of free white males and females In five-year age groups to age 20 In ten-year age groups from 20 to 100 100 years and older Number of slaves and free colored persons in six age groups Number of deaf and dumb, by race Number of blind, by race Number of insane and idiotic in public or private charge, by race Number of persons in each family employed in seven classes of occupation Number of schools and number of scholars Number of white persons over twenty who could not read and write Number of pensioners for revolutionary or military service <laughs> Data availability No microdata from the 1840 population census are available, but aggregate data for small areas, together with compatible cartographic boundary files, can be downloaded from the National Historical Geographic Information System. A compendium of data from the 6th census, organized by states, counties, and principal towns is available on the web site of the Census Bureau. State rankings Topic City Rankings Topic References Topic External Links Compendium of the Enumeration of the Inhabitants and Statistics of the United States, from the Returns of the Sixth Census, Washington, D.C., eighteen forty one. Overview of the 1840 census on www.census.gov 1840 U.S. Federal Census – Online records and indexes on www.cindieslist.com links includes links to sites with any or all of the following – digitized images, indexes, transcriptions, extractions, abstracts, and partial or whole copies of census materials. <laughs>